Day in the life, so to speak, is, 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 is the office this morning pre preparing for tonight. Uh, but we're here at, at, at uh, London local primary schools. We're now in 37 primary schools in the city, uh, growing all the time. Uh, this is the, the SkyTribe project, so we deliver several projects. Uh, but, but today we're here with the SkyTribe program. Lots of different things, lots of different skills, mainly with rugby, building up the confidence, different warm-ups and things like that, it's been really good to see. Um, children getting stuck in and having a really, real love for the sport now and things like that, always talking about it, always wanting to do it, sort yeah. of outside of the lessons as well, so had yeah. a good impact definitely. From here, going to an after school club, uh, from there there's the junior nights going on. Um, so Junior Night's been running for two years now and we've set it up as a stepping stone between our school sessions and clubs. So the idea is obviously we introduce the game to people at schools and they get the chance to come down here, develop the skills a little bit further, get to understand the game a bit more before we try and get them into the club game. Um, I'm Fran Held, I'm a volunteer um, and I come every week to Junior Night on Monday. Well, I feel much more confident around the kids and um, after uni and stuff I'm looking to become like a teacher so it's really good for that kind of style of things and it's really nice to just see them all like grow up and just get better at rugby and playing. Yeah. Tonight uh, it's, it's, it's a really big, uh, it's ambitious, it's a bold day for the Knights. Uh, we're launching our Excel programme, which is our new player pathway at the club. Um, it's, it's going to be a big, big night for the club um, and, and we're hoping to have over uh, 75 children uh, from the parents to find out more about, about that. Yeah, I think it's really good that there's loads of kids down here wanting to improve the game and wanting to, wanting to improve to play at that higher level, so it's really good to see. But and if I didn't go to York Scholarship, I, I, I probably wouldn't be playing rugby anymore. I um, joined when I was about 16, no, I joined when I was really young and then and then came back when I was 16. Uh, so yeah, it was really important. The, the, the only pathway I could have thought of getting up, getting up to play Super League. So yeah, I will I, I, I up to the club. Yeah, so um, like I said in there before, it was my first real achievement in, in rugby was uh, getting picked up on the scholarship and it was something I, I uh, and I still do, take massive pride in in, uh, in doing so. There was a lot of good players uh, uh, in the North Yorkshire ranks, um, which, uh, which I competed with um, through the whole of the scholarship really. Um, so, um, so yeah, I mean, they gave me every opportunity to, uh, to, to kick on um, and then I eventually went to Leeds, made my debut there and um, I've enjoyed um, uh, success playing, playing in the Super League. At the same time, the York City Knights ladies uh, on, a, on a huge winning streak uh, will be, we'll be training on the pitch alongside us. Yeah. 